गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द लेसन दिस इज जॉडी फोन टिल नाउ आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट जॉडी इज सर्चिंग द फोन इन द फॉरेस्ट एंड ही हैड सेंट मिलवील बैक बिकॉज ही डिड नॉट वॉन्ट टू शो हिज डिसअपॉइंटमेंट और हिज हैप्पीनेस टू हिम movement directly in front of him startled him so that he tumbled backward the fawn lifted its face to his it turned its head with a wide wondering motion and shook him through with the stare of its liquid eyes it was quivering it made no effort to rise or run jody could not trust himself to move so students there was a movement and the movement startled jody startled means surprise jody so that he tumbled backward and tumbled means to fall suddenly without having any serious injury so jody suddenly fall back and he did not have any injury luckily the fawn lifted its face to his it means the fawn looked at jody it turned its head with a wide wondering motion and shook him through with the stare of its liquid eyes liquid eyes means shiny eyes clear eyes it was quivering it was shaking slightly it made no effort to rise or run jody could not trust himself to move so jody did not move he whispered it's me jody said in a very low voice it's me the fawn lifted its nose scenting him it means he tried to smell him he reached out one hand and laid it on the soft neck the touch made him delirious he moved forward on all fours until he was close beside it he put his arms around its body a light convulsion passed over it but it did not stir so students here the fawn uh, lifted its nose he uh, looked at jody and he was trying to smell him he reached out one hand and laid it on the soft neck the touch made him delirious delirious means extremely happy jory became very happy he moved forward on all fours until he was close beside it on all fours means on his hands and on his feet he put his arms around his body a light convulsion passed over it but it did not stir convulsion means the movement of muscles the expansion and contraction of muscles passed over it but it did not stir it did not move he struck its sides as gently as though the fawn were a china deer and he might break it its skin was very soft it was sleek and clean and had a sweet scent of grass he rose slowly and lifted the fawn from the ground its leg hung limply they were surprisingly long and he had to hoist the fawn as high as possible under his arm so students in the paragraph we come to know that jody handled the fawn very gently and he was treating him as he was a china deer and he might break so its skin was very soft and it was it had a very clean skin and it also had a sweet scent of grass jody lifted the fawn up from the ground and its legs hung limply as they were not having any life its legs hung without support they were surprisingly long means he had long legs and he had to hoist the fawn as high as possible under his arm hoist means to lift something jody had to lift the fawn as high as possible because he had long legs he was afraid that it might kick and bleat at sight and smell of its mother he skirted the clearing and pushed his way into the thicket it was difficult to fight through with his burden the fawn's legs caught in the bushes and he could not lift his own with freedom so students jody was very afraid that he thought that the fawn might kick him and bleat at sight bleat means to make noise okay to speak at sight and smell of its mother he skirted the clearing skirted here means to walk at the edge of something to walk along the boundary jody started to walk 
into the thicket into the thick bushes it was difficult to fight through with his burden the fawn's leg caught in the bushes and he could not lift his own with freedom it means it was becoming very difficult for jordy to walk with fawn in his hands he tried to shield its face from prickling vines jordy wanted to protect the fawn from the thorns of the plant its head bobbed with his pride his heart thumped with the marvel of its acceptance of him he reached the trail and walked as fast as he could until he came to the intersection with the road home so in this paragraph the reaction of the fawn has been explained beautifully its head bobbed with his pride as the boy jory was moving similarly the head of fawn was also uh, making movement along with him his heart thumped with the marvel of its acceptance of him so his th- heart was making a uh, noise it was thumping jory was walking very fast so that he could reach his home as quickly as he could he stopped to rest and set the fawn down on its dangling legs it wavered on them it looked at him and bleated so now jordy was tired he stopped and he set the fawn on his hanging legs he it wavered on them it means its legs were shaking it wavered on them means its legs were shaking it looked at him and bleated it means the fawn made the noise in a complaining voice so students if you have any problem or doubt in the part explained today you can ask thank you